I will say, though, that this guy has some talent. Apparently, he's doing the fucking Hyrule Temple theme while somebody's cooking shit in the kitchen. At least it's better than watching a Karen meltdown, right? Your ass yeah. is grass. All right, I will. I'll neighbor. be looking at this. Be sheltered in place. Go ahead, put me on social media. You're a little pup. Seriously? Seriously, I called the cops. I can't. Wow. Okay. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. Wow. She was really nice, right, guys? A uh, personal favorite peaceful video of my own. There's a channel I watch on YouTube called The Proper People. And what they do is they go around exploring abandoned buildings like water parks and malls and like power plants and stuff. One of my personal favorites to this day is the Landmark Mall in Alexandria, Virginia. And they used Landmark Mall as like a film set for Wonder Woman. But basically at the same time, the inside of the mall looks like a Half-Life level. And they tore down the entire fucking building in Virginia. In today's episode, we're in Alexandria, Virginia to explore the abandoned Landmark Mall. It originally opened in 1965 as an outdoor mall, but was enclosed in 1990. This mall followed the general decline of malls across America as online shopping took hold. By 2017, the mall had kicked out its final tenants and shut its doors, leaving Sears as the only remaining business on the property. Since then, the mall briefly saw use as a homeless shelter and a film set for Wonder Woman. But after the closure of Sears in 2020, the entire site was slated for demolition. Chair with the, the semicircular top and those bars in the middle in that shape, that's like every fast food restaurant from the 90s. This place is. Yeah. Subway. And it's walled off too. These must have been closed for a while before the yeah, rest of the Yeah, this mall. whole place is stripped out, except the wallpaper. Like they got City Hall Station on the wall. Of course. Yeah, I mean, you don't really see them with this wallpaper still, do you? The sign up there looks very dated. Yep, see that here it is right here. It is so fucking sad. You have a big piece of property that could have attracted so many businesses that is shutting down and some bum-ass, lazy-ass shops have taken over alongside with the fact that I think a guy committed suicide in this mall that is just going to shit. So right now we're inside Cottonwood Mall. This is the, uh, the mall that I told you guys when we were discussing about Landmark Mall and their bankruptcy. And the fact that they demolished the entire building. There is some bum ass shops in this place, including these people. Grayskull Toys and Collectibles. These guys support a absolutely fraudulent news station that goes around and it incriminates a bunch of innocent people. So yeah, this is another bum ass shop too. Because this place is another place that is currently under bankruptcy. That uh, currently has a problem with people taking photos and taking videos of a of a nice little, uh, nice little establishment all over the place. Hey, shout outs to my men, proper people on YouTube. Give me a job, man, I'll be your historian. I know a lot about this place. This, this used to be the old Johnny Rockets when Cottonwood Mall was still popping. If you could see, Johnny Rockets is no longer here. Somebody else tried to take it over and now it's just a giant empty space, a giant empty fucking wall. This like used to be a Johnny Rockets, man. You know, you go in, you have an old-fashioned burger, there was a guy with a jukebox, or the jukebox in here. I don't even know how close we can get without setting off an alarm, but... Oh, they took out the old-school bar stools? Oh, you degenerate son of a bitch. Oh, man, you took out the old-school bar stools and replaced them with some kindergarten-ass chairs. Man, you fucked the value of this property. It used to be like an atomic closet, uh, uh, atomic closet where people can go and buy like their their nerdy, nerdy goods or everything. But look at that! Oh, it's another empty space, bro. You know your mall is dying when the Eddie Bauer shop turns into a, a suit shop for this dude. The Eddie Bauer shop that has been in this mall for like the '90s is fucking gone. The only thing that's alive right now 
is that dude that's doing his job. Yeah, look at that. That This used to even be the Disney store right here, and it looks like the guy that sells his tuxedos is even gone. Big old usable empty space. No vendors, no buyers, nothing. At least the Build-A-Bear is still here. At least it's nice to know that they're still in do still doing good in business. Distracted writing another Facebook post, but if you can see there, there's another empty building right there. And right here used to be the old Sears. Now, it used to be a two-level Sears. That place is nothing anymore. And down below, if you guys can see it, is also nothing anymore. That even T-Mobile is gone. A reliable phone company in the United States and probably worldwide is gone. Yeah, that's how you know you're definitely fucking dying, is when the T-Mobile leaves too. We're gonna have to go the old way around to China Buffet because the elevator is broken, but this used to be a Dairy Queen too. Oh, look at that, another empty business. Damn. Yeah, this place is starting to look like Landmark Mall. Just a lot of these everywhere. Foot traffic coming in and out of these doors. You see this Ulta Beauty right in front of you, right? This used to be a China Buffet. Before this beauty shop took over, this was straight up a Chinese restaurant. And honestly, it was like a good Chinese restaurant from my younger days. And then Ulta Beauty came in and took over. I'd like to see you lick the goddamn dumplings off the floor of this place. Because this used to be a Chinese buffet. And it used to be called China Buffet. Look at this. There's a security guard that's on his fucking phone while he's on duty. He's on his phone probably texting his wife or his girl while he's in uniform. Bruh, somebody could be stealing shit from this mall and this guy's over here watching TikTok videos or some shit. Speaking of Landmark Mall, as I'm on my way out, this, these used to be the recruitment offices for like the US Army, the Navy, you know, people that go overseas and put a bullet in our enemies' heads. Yeah, those people. And nothing. Completely nothing. That used to be a Cinnabon right there, too. Okay, this is a new one. I did not see this, but apparently they took out the fucking play place for the little kids. They took out all of the gymnasium equipment for all of these little hyped up on Mountain Dew ass kids. And then that up there, that used to be the sports authority. They're no longer here either. Just real quick, the area where that guy is sitting right now, that used to be the hallmark. The Hallmark Center, you know how like they have Freeform and Hallmark Channel to run their Christmas specials every year? How are people going to send their, their, you know, their Christmas and birthday cards to their loved ones now? Hallmark is another place that has been here since like the early 90s and they're gone too. This used to be the Sears right here. Should I knock on the door and just be like, hello, I'm here to pick up my washer. Hello, I'm here to pick up my Whirlpool. Anybody there? Hello? At least the elevators still work. God, who knows how long it's been since they put these in. These things have probably still been working since the 90s. If this place ever closes their fucking doors, I definitely know a lot about this place. A lot of places that used to be like the Johnny Rockets down there. I used to know a lot of this stuff. Like a lot of places that used to still be here that are just, just gone. 